are going to the Irish fair today. It's gonna be really great because we're Irish and Irish are the best. Yep. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, the Irish fair in St. Paul is like pretty significant because almost everyone's Irish. Like in St. Patrick's Day, we like dye the river green, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen I've that. I've never seen that. We dye the river green and we have a lot of pub crawls and we got a lot of Irish people. I think uh, a lot of the town was settled by Irish people. Like Lake Fallon was an Irish person who was in the military. He was a soldier who worked for Fort Snelling. There's a couple other towns. Yeah, fun facts about Irish in St. Paul. Yeah, sad fun fact, St. Patrick was not Irish. He was from Great Britain. But as Cash just said. In Northern Europe and Ireland, because it's that one island is really blurred. So British people can sometimes claim they're Irish and Irish people sometimes can claim that they're British. Like when you take one of those DNA tests, it'll say British slash Irish. Wow. Because it's a real, it's a blurred line. Blurred line, you heard it here first. I didn't think about wearing green. You did it? Right. Okay, we made it to the Irish fair. <laughs> Thankfully, I had to follow some people. Actually, the second we stepped out of the Uber, I got catcalled. And then I ignored it, and then the construction man nearby was like, Oh, excuse me, miss, they were trying to talk to you, said that you're hot. It's like, Oh, freaking sweet, should I go kiss his shoes? That your dog? I've been outside since he was 12 weeks old. Yeah. And I fed him, and then he turned around and peed in the living room. And I was like, Never again. And he never did. Hi, again. friend. Oh, you did such a big boy. The, yes, he felt like a steel wool, like, dishwashing rag. What is it, Brillo pad? <laughs> he felt like a Brillo pad. <laughs> and I told them that I died. <laughs> so pretty. Prettiest river. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Irish sailboat ride fish dad. That's deep bro. It's called an Irish, uh, what's the word for story? <laughs> Proverb. Oh my god. Oh my god, so you can find your names. Guess what? Look at, look, look Boys first names. Found mine super bad. <laughs> fish and chips I've ever seen. I'm very happy about mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shopping, a lot more shopping than I thought, and I freaking love shopping. A lot of like Celtic rings and henna, a lot of dresses. There were some like Renaissance type costume stores, lots of fish and chips. I will say though, the fish and chips were really mediocre. They were like, it was like the fifth buffet? No, from McDonald's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the McFish? <laughs> yeah, the McFish. It tastes like a McFish, so it was kind of mad. That was mediocre. The food options weren't that big. I guess maybe we're kind of late to the show, I don't really know. Yeah. But yeah, but there's a lot of cute dancing, a lot of music, a lot of traditional stuff. The shopping was amazing. A lot of good stuff to look at. Also, it's free to get in, so that's like pretty freaking sweet. Can't complain about that. Cassidy, what was your review of the Irish Fair? It was pretty good until I realized my name's a last name. <laughs> oh yeah. She 
she's out here trying to find her like meaning and stuff, so I found mine. And her name's not anywhere, it's the last name. Because <laughs> yeah. our mom hates us. I have a boy's name, she has a last name. <laughs> Definitely will come back again. Thanks for watching.